guys, back here again. Um, it's the second video. This one here is also released from uh, Tucker uh, Tucker Carlson here. Listen, uh, some of the questions he brings up, some of the points are excellent. Again, though, but don't don't get head faked on this. These points are what should have been brought out before any of this mayhem that they've all caused. You see, it's these very same people that caused this. They're the ones six weeks ago that were telling you all this was mandatory, lockdown, you know, social distancing, on and on and on and on, where some of our private blogs and uh, what the mentors were coming up with, the pandemonium this was going to create, well, look, one by one, the hospitals will be fallen by the wayside, one by one. But anyway, the point to take away from this, okay, guys, is the fact that all of this needed to be brought out before such harsh decisions were made to close down a world economy. Uh, we've said it enough times. It was a head fake because the economy is already a walking dead zombie. They had to bring it down some way. We're going to be going through a reset. But listen to some of these points, okay, because this is how they trick you. A lot of these are excellent points that... Um, you know, Tucker's making on this thing. But um, like I say, the point is the responsibility of newscasting is, again, finding out what is accurate and then releasing it, not, not sending people in every which direction, which proves our point that as good as Tucker sounds, and he's got a great voice, boy, I wish I could sound like that, but it just goes to show you these are all paid actors. There is nobody doing any research here. They're reading script. Very dangerous. Anyway, listen, and uh, some great points from, uh, from old uh, Tucker. Here's a physician and researcher from California called Dr. Dan Erickson. Erickson and a partner just delivered a 50-minute briefing on the latest numbers from California. The video they made has been viewed millions of times in a few days online. The bottom line is, after looking carefully at the data, these two researchers have concluded that California should end its shelter-in-place order. Watch. We've seen 1,227 deaths. Now, if you've seen this already, just fast forward through with it. With a possible uh, incidence or prevalence. It's already off YouTube, million. by the way. That means you have a 0.03 chance of dying from COVID-19. Anything in the state that's of true that can help humanity gets dismissed. 0.03 chance of dying from COVID in the state of California. Is that does that necessitate sheltering in place? Does that necessitate shutting down medical systems? Does that necessitate people being out of work? These are serious people who've done this for a living for decades. They have in their hands the largest currently available data sets on this question. And the question they're asking after analyzing all of those numbers, are the lockdowns worth it? So what is the answer to that? What's so striking is that so many politicians, the ones enforcing the lockdowns, don't seem at all interested in asking it. Instead, they're bullying forward as if nothing has changed. Just today, the San Francisco Bay Area announced it'll be extending its lockdown until the end of May. That's five weeks from now. What is the scientific justification for doing that? They didn't tell us because there is none. None. And what makes all of these newscasters just as guilty is they're the ones that distribute it. Okay, so not, it's like I say, this is, a, this is a critical factor to understand. There was no basis on any of it. And there was no basis on people like him forwarding it to everyone. They distributed it. Okay, if it wasn't for all these mainstream newscasts, they distributed all that poison that they're now trying to blame on the politicians. Okay, it's not going to be pretty. You may remember what they first told us back in February and March. They said, we have to take radical steps in order to, quote, flatten the curve. They told us, you spread it. Well, six weeks later, we're happy to say that curve has been flattened, but it's likely not because of the lockdowns. The virus just isn't nearly as deadly as we thought it was. All of us, including on this show, everybody thought it was. But it then turned out- Then why did you distribute it without doing your research? Look at the damage you people have caused. Take responsibility for your own mistakes. Don't pass the buck. Not to be. Hospitals never collapsed. 
outside of a tiny number of places, they never came close to collapsing, at least not from an influx of infected patients. Instead, something remarkable happened, something amazing, really without parallel in American history. The opposite happened. Thanks. And that's exactly what we've been releasing, and that's exactly what we knew from quite a while because of paid information sources. Uh, like I said, look at what we've released just a few days ago from Virginia, about 6,000 empty beds. They're going broke. They're laying off doctors. Again, please do not keep falling for these head fakes. They're every bit as guilty, if not more than the politicians. Understand, okay, we're going to do some videos about police and military because they are, regardless of their inside intention, the order takers cause the most damage because they'll strap on a uniform and fly across the world and start shooting people they don't know nothing about without ever asking, why are we going? Show me the proof that what they've done is true. Show me the proof that my country is in danger. No. And this is what creating jobs programs does. This, this news is nothing more than a jobs program because this is not journalism. This is a play on a stage. Okay? And you're being fed a motive. Uh, later on today, uh, you'll see the motive will be coming out, but uh, they're going to head fake you. And now that they can no longer push the Russiagate thing because everything about that's been proven wildly false. It was all a, a, it was all a democratic hoax to steal a political campaign, and both of them are equal. You can't hold a turd by its clean end. Whether it's a Republican or, or a Democrat, you can't hold a turd by its clean end. They're on either side of the turd, okay? So get, get, get an understanding of it. Because, my God, people, it's going to be a slaughterhouse for you people living in bigger cities. Even in, middle, even in the burbs, it's going to be a slaughterhouse unless you people wake the hell up. Thanks to the lockdowns, hospitals have become to collapse. Why? From a lack of patience. Just like we Politicians said. Politicians who couldn't pass ninth grade biology decided that practicing physicians should not be allowed to calculate the risk of transmitting the virus. They're just not qualified. And neither are you, sir. Okay, so before you criticize somebody capable of passing ninth grade biology, perhaps you should take the test yourself. Unlike us, so these politicians banned so-called non-essential procedures, many of which are in fact essential. The results of this policy? In many hospitals, entire floors have been mothballed. Doctors and nurses are being furloughed in the middle of a pandemic. This is insanity. It weakens our healthcare system. Its effects will last for many years. That's all from the lockdown. So how long will we have to live with these lockdowns? Earlier this month, Dr. Anthony Fauci, whom we are apparently required by law to respect no matter what he says, suggested that, in fact, we may never be allowed to resume normal life. If anybody who has as little sense to pay that twerp two minutes of their time deserves what they get. He's a bought and paid for idiot that will do anything and sell anybody under the table to further his own agenda Start looking into the World Health Organization. Start looking into the donations from Mr. Gates. And you better, if you don't wise up, start getting ready to cram some more poison into your children, all in the concept and the disguise of something called the vaccine. Back to normal means acting like there never was a coronavirus problem. I don't think that's going to happen until we do have a situation where you can completely protect the population. If you want to get to pre-coronavirus, you know, that might not ever happen in the sense of the, the fact that the threat is there. Right then and there, he just laid it on. I, how many times do we have to tell you, pick up on the points? It's uh, lazy minds are lazy minds, but we always said, and you'll recognize it when I put it this way, once something's been changed, like after 9-11, it never goes back. It never. I'm from Canada, and I remember decades ago in Alberta, they were talking about something called the GST, Goods and Services Tax. I 
can't remember, but I think it was like 4% or 5%. Okay, and they swore that was only going to be for a couple of years. Well, here it is 30 years later, the GST still in Alberta, okay? Once these things are changed, they never go back. They never go back. Now, we should tell you that is the same Dr. Fauci, and keep this to yourself because, as noted, it's not allowed to show any skepticism whatsoever. But that's the same Dr. Fauci who also announced that shaking hands, the ancient custom of shaking hands, should be done away with forever. And then a week later told Snapchat that actually it's fine to have sex with strangers you meet on Tinder. That was his epidemiological advice. Other experts on television warned that full-blown lockdowns may be necessary until a vaccine or effective treatments are found. What they didn't mention is that scientists have never produced a single approved vaccine or antiviral drug for any coronavirus. So that could be a while. And that thought seemed to please frequent television guest Zeke Emanuel. Realistically, COVID-19 will be here for the next 18 months or more. We will not be able to return to normalcy until we find a vaccine or effective medications. Is all that economic pain worth trying to stop COVID-19? The truth is, we have no choice. Oh, the truth is we have no choice. Well, here's a handy guide for you in case you watch a lot of television. When a political operative like Zeke Emanuel, someone with a long history of lying, begins a sentence with the phrase, the truth is, you should probably be on guard. When he ends that sentence with, we have no choice, you should be terrified. And, if I and you know something? Take it a little bit further there, Mr. Uh, Tucker, okay? And the truth is, when someone on a paid mainstream media is flogging this kind of stuff, you got to wonder if there's an ulterior motive behind that, too. Quite possibly, you're going to, in the near future, maybe twist it a little bit more and then lead into the next country that there may be a war with, right? Could it be China, Mr. Tucker? Maybe that's what your next script might lead to. China? Who knows? I mean, Russia gate bombed out totally, right? All you people were pushing Russia this, Russia that, Russia this, Russia that. And you found out it was the damn Democrats the whole time, right? Well, you jumped off that bandwagon, right? Let's do a bit more research, Mr. Tucker. Let's find out maybe did America help finance this virus? Because we'll be releasing that soon. And you will later on too, sir, as you always do, about five to six weeks later, when it's no longer valid. In fact, that's wrong. We have always had a choice. Other countries made different choices from ours, in fact. They're not waiting for a vaccine to open their societies. Why would they do that? There's no precedent for doing that as a scientific matter. For example, we spent millions of dollars and more than a decade trying to find a vaccine for the SARS virus. Scientists never developed one. That's a shame, but did we halt life in the United States in response? We didn't. In fact, you may not even remember that any of that happened. The striking thing is the science has not changed that much since then. Unfortunately, American politics have changed a lot, and that's the difference. And in closing, that was an excellent point. Um, like I say, with the with all that's going on here, so you start asking your question, the same bought and paid for talking heads are starting to shift the herd in another. And uh, we already know, we already hit about the countless hospitals and the damage to the medical system. We already hit about that they're coming for your pensions. We already hit about the fact that Russiagate bombed. Nothing can be proved. Go back to every staged event from 9-11 on forward, okay? And we've researched them all, and you're going to find they're all paid actors. There's no bodies. There's none of the above, okay? You even look at the scroll at the bottom. There was a little over 10,000 deaths at the time of doing that, which is only a couple of days old. Whatever. I mean, just the numbers make no sense at all. People, you're being hoodwinked. You're going to lose everything you have if you stay in this same. They are going to pit the masked people against the unmasked. They are going to pit the every ethnic difference, every religion difference. They are dividing. And if you think we are over-exaggerating, look at it. You're locked down in your house for the greater part of the planet. 
totally dependent on their communication system. So anytime they want to shut you off, you couldn't even communicate with each other. Anytime they want to shut off delivery of food, anytime they want to shut off power, anytime they want to shut off internet, and look at the fools who still argue. You have nothing left under your control. You better start understanding the only weapon we got is by us gathering together and dropping our differences and starting to recognize who our enemy truly is and has always been. Mark our words, this is a head fake because of China's dominance, even though every, every nation in the world right now is suffering, including China, but over the time, over the next decade to decade and a half, by the sheer population, by the numbers, and by if anybody's ever been over to China, I used to spend a lot of time there. They are so advanced compared to us when you see subways going through hotel lobbies and, and the oh, just the, 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 the construction is just amazing, but they're way ahead of the West. And that is the up and coming paradigm chain uh, in dominance. It's just part of history. I don't particularly blame anybody for it because the U.S. had a great run since the end of World War II when they took the, um, you know, when they took the uh, reserve from the British sterling at the end of World War II. Well, we don't know what the next is going to be. Uh, although we've been talking for years about an SDR, it's going to be a special drawing rights bond. But we'll talk about that a little bit later. But anybody who thinks all this is crazy, well, remember, you're already being followed by drones. You're already on software. If you have this virus, this virus that's proving to be so undeadly compared to what they initially thought, and one thing after another, after another, after another, and uh, my God, it's just the only thing that keeps them mounting is the ignorance. Anyway, it's old Barry. I hope you're getting something out of this. Bye.